when the flashbang started. Randy Blazak is a Portland sociology professor, someone not afraid to go to the front lines of history, as he did when he shot this video last June at the Portland riots downtown. But these days, he's not going anywhere. He's quarantined in his basement. It knocked me on my can. Blazak has COVID. And yes, he is fully vaccinated with the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Like a lot of us, it made him feel safe. One of the reasons I'm happy to talk about this is there's a lot of people like me that are vaccinated that are probably thinking that they're okay now. Yeah, like they're bulletproof. Yeah, that's exactly what I said, 10 foot tall and bulletproof. But that is not the case. In the last week of July, Blazak took his wife to Mount Tabor to watch the sunset and discovered this dance party. He hung out there and thinks it's where the COVID virus got him. I think that's what happened is my head was still in sort of like March or, or April when, you, when I thought I could go maskless. And the Delta variant just changed the matrix and um, it got me, you know, it got me. He's not alone. The Oregon Health Authority reports that in June, 1,790 Oregonians who were fully vaccinated tested positive for COVID. It is a fraction of the more than 2 million people vaccinated statewide, but it's also not nothing. And it's not a surprise to the experts. Dr. Bukose Dubé is a senior health advisor to the Oregon Health Authority. Breakthrough cases do occur, uh, but they're very, very rare. Um, and what we do know is that the the, the current surge is fueled by uh, primarily people who are not vaccinated. It's worth remembering those of us who are vaccinated are still at risk. I feel really lucky. It, it, as as a big a pain as this is, as being stuck in the basement and feeling fatigued and coughing my lungs out and all the discomfort. But experts say if you are vaccinated, your chances of survival are much better than if you are not. I feel really lucky because I feel like if I wasn't vaccinated, I would be in the hospital. This would be much more serious. So I think the vaccine probably saved my life. Pat Doris, KGW News.